Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central, continuing our coverage of Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. This is a preview release that we're taking a look at, which you'll see on your left running out of Samsung Focus to your right, another Focus running Noto. So we've got a great comparison here. Now we're going to take a look at IE9 and see how much faster and better that is than our current version. Mind you, this is hardware accelerated, so in theory it should be a big difference. We're going to launch WP Central the full site, which is pretty graphic intensive and normally takes a while to load. And we'll see the difference here. And I started the one on the left just by a second earlier, but it's not going to matter, I guarantee you, because we're talking pretty big difference here. I'll let you know, you might not be able to see the bars, so I'll let you know when they're actually finished. And the one on the left just finished. So now you can start your countdown clock and see when the one on the right finishes. And it's very fast. I mean, look at this. There's no stuttering or anything. You can zoom in very quickly. The pinch and zoom works great. And we're still waiting on the one on the right. And there it goes. It just finished. So it'll take about a second off of that between the how I started it uh, slightly off. But you get the idea. Uh, it, the hardware acceleration is a big, big difference. You can also see much more of the screen now between the two because they got rid of all the chrome. If you hit the little tabs here, you can see the differences in options. You have your tabs, recent favorites, add to favorite, share page, pin to start settings. Now a lot of those options were of course listed up here before. So in that sense, there's nothing too much that's different. Uh, in that regard. They did move the address bar from up there to down here. And of course, if you go to landscape, that works there too, which is nice. Should make a lot of people happy. You can see the redraw. Everything is very good on this. I've been using it for the last few days. Very impressed. I'm normally not a big fan of mobile browsers. Uh, I should point out this is over Wi-Fi where it really, really takes off. I mean, because it could just swallow data. And for those wondering with dual cores, I mean, this is a great example of how a dual core could probably take advantage of this because then the uh, Internet Explorer could use, per, you know, presumably one of those cores to make it even go faster. So uh, let's take a look at something else now. Let's take the ACID-3 test. You can see the difference between the two. It's a little dramatic, let's just say that. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I mean, the one here, so this drew it exactly the way it's supposed to, if you look at the um, the sample image. And this, it got five out of a hundred, and it doesn't even look right if you, you know, we can look at the, that's what it's supposed to look like, 100 out of a hundred, that's the ideal. And if you look here, that's what ours actually looks like so it is doing a very good job of the test and ie on noto is pretty pathetic you gotta admit i mean that's a huge change oh wait no sorry it's going up to 12 out of 100. you just see how slow it's running though it's just chugging through these tests where the one on the uh, the left mango has just absolutely trounced it i mean it's it's night and day difference between them so if you're into standards and all that kind of thing uh you know ie9 is the real deal Let's go to the Internet Explorer 10 test. We can kind of look at a few of these. Now, Microsoft released this site a few days ago. It's a way to test your browser. And I'll show you some of the things it can do. We'll just do a few because they're kind of boring. So this is loading an asteroid belt, and you can see I mean, this, this might not be like at first like a big deal, like, but you look at full animation within a web browser, which is pretty impressive. And as far as I know, mobile browsers just don't do this. And once again, we're over Wi-Fi, but that still went incredibly fast. And so things are floating around, and you know you can kind of scroll the screen, and you can see things. So that one's kind of neat. I'm trying to remember what other ones here. Pulsating bubbles is kind of impressive. So once again, full screen animation, rocking on the Windows Phone. And maybe we'll do one more. I don't even think I've tried some of these, so. 
Let me try the speed reading one. I think this is the one that they've demoed before. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I, I think developers will be more impressed than this than uh, you know you and I. But still, the 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 idea is that having this sort of animation on the device is. Um, you know, within the browser is pretty impressive stuff. So overall, a great experience with the browser. I could also point out that uh, third parties, you know, let's use a chump list here, like SurfCube do work. So in case you're wondering, they, they may have to do some optimization for it, but for the most part, it, it works just like a normal browser. So this way you can even get, you know, completely full screen browsing and get all the surf queue benefits. So if you want to do that, that's an option too. So there you go, very impressed with IE9. It is the real deal, uh, hardware acceleration and full compliance with web standards. And it's a great experience. And like I said, over Wi-Fi, it totally just, it's a rocket. So there you go, take care everybody.